Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Rad to Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and also Capricorn Rising. A weekly general tarot reading September 20th up until September 26th, 2021. And uh, should you guys be interested in a personal reading with me, or if you do want to take my tarot classes, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my uh, website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services. And if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you wish to support us, leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well live streams. So with that being set aside, moving straight away to the Capricorn reading, the very first card that you do have Capricorn, that is going to be the Queen of Swords followed by the second one here, which stands as the uh, Hierophant. Uh, moving next, we have uh, the Seven of uh, Swords. And the final Prime card, there are going to be four more cards in your spread, but the final Prime card, that is to be the Ten of Cups. So quite of a interesting, uh, quite of an interesting read. That is, uh, I don't know how to say it really in English. Uh, that is when you do lay all things out and you have it your way afterwards you know kind of like you make preparations according to plan and then uh, you have a leverage okay that that is literally how that uh, particular week uh, stands overall uh, but let's scrutinize the reading and the very first card that will be the queen of swords which is going to be catalyzed with the six of cups <laughs> okay so that's a uh, that is a person which is not very happy working with you or being around you, but they will have to for one way or another. Uh, that is because you hold the key to their, simply to their prevail, simply to their success, or if you will, to, uh, to their wish and to their dream. And uh, these type of an individuals, they are determined to do whatever it takes, no matter the cost, for as long as they uh, accomplish results. And uh, that should put some ease to your mind, because to me, what these two cards speaks are about partnership, that you both don't like each other very much but together you are to prove yourself being a very very effective team either into your career i'm gonna sneeze oh my god i do apologize so uh you're going to be very effective team either into your career maybe relationship wise as well you know in term of uh i don't know uh getting a point across you know friendship it could be also family member that uh, you have to work together about something for example inheritance you may not like each other very much but you are gonna be very very effective team uh, also is very likely this to be a physician queen of swords uh, very often sits for a physician and uh that being said, you may not like your physician, but your physician may prove it himself or herself a very resourceful. Uh, one thing I want to warn you here with this card, Capricorn, don't um, end up on the bad side of the Queen of Swords. Uh, it's, uh, that's Believe me, that's an enemy you don't want. Uh, it's not because they are powerful, not because they have many connections, not because... I don't know, they are very uh, strate strategic because they don't care. Okay, they, they simply have nothing to lose. Even if they have something to lose, they don't care about it. It's just, for them, results justifies the means. And that's why they're going to side with you, even if they don't like you. And uh, right after that... Um, mm, cooperation let's let's name it a cooperation here uh the hierophant takes place and it is catalyzed with the seven of pentacles and that is awesome so uh that that speaks that you are to receive the benevolent the benign to your agenda support you need it either through consultation either through uh you know performance 
this queen of swords is going to happen to be the exactly the asset you required to push forward your things and uh, as you do cooperate together according to these two cards towards the the first half of uh, the week the flow of giving and taking is going to normalize so you ain't gonna have to give so much from yourself to gain so little and vice versa as well and uh, simply whatever uh, predicaments and setbacks you have faced thus far with the cooperation with the uh, queen of swords uh, the resolutions are simply going to be found and you are uh, in fact you are to be amazed how easy it is to overcome those predicaments uh, setbacks and um, I don't know plights um, and, and those resolutions are going to reside completely in the framework of your already uh, existing um, civilization meaning that you, you don't have to do anything outside of what you already have you don't have to reinvent the wheel here it's just you have now the force you now have the resource you now have the mean to uh, to do it and uh, additionally to it with these two cards, uh, with these two cards, um, initially you may have not liked each other, you and the Queen of Swords, but because the cooperation is going to be so effective, and there will be, by the way, no surreptitious either intentions or a either sneaky moves, and that will help you boosting or bolstering, so to speak the trust into one another and while you have not liked initially here towards the middle of the week actually it's very very possible that you are going to start uh, liking each other and uh, if you are attracted physically to one another that's another premise that we do have here no seriously uh, with the hierophant uh, the uh, intimate relationship starts with trust and reliability and definitely by the looks of these cards you can rely on the queen of swords and you definitely can trust that person as they can to you too and that is a at least according to the hierophant the soil the premise the foundation of where love can truly take place and uh, right after that the seven of swords takes place which is catalyzed with the devil so that is a immaculate self-control and, and i mean immaculate self-control uh here towards the end of the week uh you are to be prone to do I, I can't find the right word so I will waste a little bit more time explaining myself I guess here but you you will do what you have to do but not in a way what it is dictated from the society you will do what you have to do accordingly to the situation because with these two cards the understanding is that not always uh, the mindless and reckless push gives you what you want and there are time, there are places, there are a, a boundaries that you have to constrain yourself around. And therefore, you're going to find that uh, sweet extension, how far your limits stretch, where you can actually force your situations, where you can storm your situations, where you can um, stand your ground and show strong backbone, and where to be quiet. And that way... At certain places by being very very clever, at other places by being very warmongery, at third places by being submissive, you will get what you are after. I, it's just written here in the cards. You're definitely going to get what you are after and you are going to get what you need as well. Uh, what you need will happen to be what you don't want though i don't know how this is going to uh i don't know how this is going to play out but that is literally what those cards are pointing things that you need are not going to be necessarily things you want so uh if you give a feedback after the week ends to what happened to you that will be uh much appreciated because i literally don't know what it means but that is the message that you are going to get what you need which 
not all of it is going to happen to be what you want. And at the end of the week here, uh, that will be the 10 of cups, which is going to be catalyzed with the nine of wands. So this is a, a very uh, uh, relaxing env environment that you are going to end up at the uh, end of the week, an environment where you are not going to feel that there is any uh, disadvantages or afflictions. It is the way that I can place it there uh, and an environment where you will feel no need to change anything and also an environment where you're going to feel extremely safe. It's going to be like a solace. It's going to be like a like an oasis where uh, you are indomitable, where you are untouchable, literally um, like a god mode. I don't know. <laughs> but... Uh, you, you're going to end up happy at uh, at the very, very end of the week. And uh, the only negative side of all that it is that you may lose or kind of like become a little bit more rusty in, in uh, listening to your instincts for self-preservation at that point. So it does look like that while the cooperation in between you and the Queen of Swords may not happen in a very good terms, at least at the start on a very initial stages, it seems that it's gonna prove itself very resourceful, very lucrative and uh, very substantial, so to speak. And uh, at the end, you are truly gonna be happy of the results that this cooperation is gonna bring you. Uh, and one last thing I wanna mention here before we wrap this whole thing around, it is that with the 10 of cups, uh, having it there and the nine of wands, you ain't gonna feel that something that anything has to change because at that point your life either all of a sudden or slowly progressively is gonna start increasing its worth or is going to regain its worth once more. But also uh, as it does regain its worth, you will feel that you can go for more. Uh, more, I mean something new and thus you are to be completely uh, humbled upon the environment that formed thus far around you, Capricorn. So with that being said, guys, this was your weekly general tarot reading for September 20th up until September 26th, uh, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.